everybody. As you can see, it's raining at the moment. So uh, uh, rather than just sit around and twiddle my thumbs, I decided to put a kit on that I've had uh, for a while, put it on the V-Star uh, to uh, move the floorboards and the controls forward. Now, this so V-Star 1300 is pretty good size, uh, but uh, my legs have always felt a little bit cramped, and so uh, what I've had to do, I came and put these uh, these bar extensions. Now, this had a little elbow that came up and over to move them farther out, but let me show you what I've got. Uh, I think I showed you this little paper here, so if I can get it in focus. Uh, the uh, Scoot Mods V-Star 1100, 1300 forward control extension kit. Um, and this is uh, the, the instructions. Could not be easier to do. Sorry, my thumb's in the way. But uh, just scan this down for you. And uh, there's their website if you want to go to it and check them out. If you just happen to have a V-Star. I think they also make them for other models. But let me show you what this was. This could not have been easier to do. Uh, well, it could have been if I had had a lift or something to put the bike up on so I wouldn't have to bend over so much. And being such an old fart like I am, I, uh, it's hard for me to get down and get back up and lay on, end up laying on my back half the time trying to do the work. But uh, the key element, and I want to try to get this in film really good, pointing my finger at it. This is it right here. It's painted black. This is a steel rod. Now these come in different sizes. They come in one inch, two inch, all the way up to six inch. Now this is the six inch extension. And let's see, I don't know if you can see my finger there, but it runs all the way across, up, and to here. Now, uh, these bolts right here are the original bolts that held the control. And you can see where these new bolts are. These are the holes. This, these holes were lined up with this when the control. So you can see the controls were way back here. The center of the control would have been right back here, right there. So you can see it moved the, it moved the, uh, the, the whole thing about six inches, as, as they say. Uh, it couldn't have been easier. You pull the two bolts out right here. This whole unit will come off now. I say that it's real easy to do, but if you have a little help, it's even easier. But the only problem I had was with the wire. I had to unhook this because I didn't want it hanging from the from the brake rod, from the brake uh, uh, switch wire. And so uh, I just unhook, I had to unhook that, and that meant taking this apart here and pulling it out. I made a big mess of it because really all you have to do is unhook the spring, and then there's a little some little plastic little tits on this piece here that uh, you can push in and this whole thing will pop out. And that's all I had to do, but I ended up disassembling most of it just for fun because I was stupid and didn't know what I'm doing. Now, the kit comes with, again, this piece. It comes with the bolts right here, uh, lock, uh, elastic lock nuts and bolts, washers to hold to, to bolt the controls to the new arm. Plus, it comes with this little guy right here, which is an extension for your brake pedal. You gotta have something because you're not, you can't move the brake cylinder here because uh, then you'd have to have new hoses and all that and this is real clever they just make an extension a custom extension that goes in it hooks up with everything else same nuts and everything no big deal and it's still you know everything still functions like it should the foot peg will come up now again I did have to move these I did have to remove an extension I had a little 90 degree elbow extension that brought these things out a little farther and I removed that because quite frankly I can't reach it except with my toes now um, but uh, everything's adjusted on this side. Let me show you around on the other side. Pardon me for the how dirty the bike is. It has been raining and blowing in the carport here, and I haven't been able to get a chance to clean it up. It looks like today's not going to help either. This one's even easier to see. You can see the there's the bar, the new bar that comes with it. You can get these in black or chrome. I got black. The original bolts right here holding it in. The uh, new bolts. And here is a longer shift rod that goes all the way back and ties in where the original did. And again, it uses the same nuts, lock nuts, that held the other one. You can adjust this where you want it, and everything looks great. Now, I've sat, I sat on this thing, and it is absolutely perfect for my size now. I'm just a tick under 6'3", about a 35-inch inseam, and uh, uh, it's extremely comfortable. Now, I say that, I haven't been able to ride it yet. Now, the rain is starting to stop. And I'm going to try to pick a window to take it out and try it out. But I think it's just sitting here on the garage. It's been fabulous. So, uh, you know, I'll let you know if anything goes wrong. If not, consider this a terrific kit made by Scoot Mods. And, uh, again, here is the, getting close enough, there's their website. If you want to go to them and check them out. You guys take care. Bye-bye.